Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this is part two of sublimation printing when you're setting up your printer. So, so far all we've done is we've lifted this up and we filled up our inks. So now that that's done, we've washed everything out. Now we're back, we're actually gonna turn on our printer. So I'm gonna close this back up and we're gonna plug this in. So this little guy just goes in the back. I know you can't see it. I'm gonna try to turn it, it's over here. Okay, so once you get that in, and this is before you connect to your computer, okay? We're just turning it on and we have to do the setup. So I'm breaking this up into easy, sizable tutorials so we don't miss anything. All right, <laughs> so we've got this plugged in. We want to raise the control panel so this was down so we're going to raise it up so hopefully you can see this and walk through this with me we're going to turn on the power button and hopefully there's no error message we're going to just go through all of this so i'm choosing i wonder if oh you can see it okay so i'm choosing english and then I know some of this is going to take a while, so I don't know how long this, I, I didn't want to do anything without you guys watching because I find that for me, while I like to do all this crafting stuff, the techie stuff just freaks me out. So I didn't want to skip any steps. I really want to show you everything. Um, so while things take long, I have other things that we can talk about um, related to sublimation printing. All right, so let's see. See the start here sheet to complete initialization. All right. So what you have to do is hit the question mark button and hold for three seconds. Oops, hold on. Hit OK and then. See, I already skipped that. OK, confirm tanks are filled with ink. So. Um, I'm going to hit the start, which is, what button is that? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So if, if you filled it in, you're going to hit the diamond button. It's hard to see on the screen. My goodness. <laughs> All right. So this is going to take about 10 minutes, but let's talk about other things. I know it's kind of loud. I'm going to try to talk really loud. -er. Uh, one of the things is with the ink you don't want to switch brands so i've gone with hippo and um i've been told that after this initialization that it actually takes up a lot of ink and we're going to need to refill so i have cleaned out my syringes let's see okay yeah um and i cleaned it out really well like i'm rinsing air pressure in there. The only place that I can see some ink still is within the actual needle. So I'm gonna take it out and show you. You can barely see it, but it's just a little ring that I can't clean out. So what I did was I kept everything with each other. So for instance, this is my magenta. I color coordinated it. Here's my yellow, my black, and my cyan. So I'm gonna keep that out because I have a feeling that we're gonna to have to fill up some more. Um, the other thing is I've been told, I've heard that some of these new sublimation um, ink coming in will actually have the cap that you can directly pour in. So we don't need to deal with syringes, hopefully later on this year. So we'll see. I mean, I kind of like the syringes, they're fun, but I did spray my mat a little bit because I got some air bubbles um what else did i not do um i didn't tilt the bottles enough so i know we talked about that in the last video tutorial but when we're doing this and when i refill it i will definitely go over again you really i would start tilting it from the beginning so as soon as you stick your needle in tilt your bottle so that we're only getting ink and not air all right what else um the other thing that i so i you know have been doing a lot of research on sublimation and I've read that you should always keep your printer plugged in. So you may feel like that's not the best thing to do because it sounds kind of, kind of crazy um, for some people. 
For me, I'm really bad. I leave everything on. So that's not gonna be a problem for me, but I've heard that it just recycles the ink so that it doesn't settle, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep buying on. Um, the other thing, let's see. You wanna make sure when you're buying your blanks that it's specifically sublimation blanks. Um, I've had great success so far using the infusible ink sheets that come with Cricut, or not comes with it, but I bought it through Cricut with the mugs. So I haven't tried anything yet because obviously the only thing that I can do with sublimation right now is the infusible ink sheets and the fusible ink pens with Cricut because I did not have a sublimation printer. So this will be um, the first time that we're gonna be doing stuff. I already have projects planned though. So we're gonna be doing, we're gonna test out the sheets. So I have a particular brand of paper that I'm using. So I'm gonna compare that with laser paper. Um, I also just want to show you lots of different colors and projects and different blanks. So this, this is my new baby. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna have a whole series on it on my YouTube main page underneath the first five days of owning your Cricut is the sublimation series. So you can easily find it. All right, so it's still showing, it's only about 40% in. So let me see what else I can talk to you about sublimation with my notes. So give me a second. Um, oh, the other tip is you should always be keeping an eye on your ink levels. So the nice thing about the Eco Tank is that it's like a frosted pane on the front. I don't want to tilt it up because we're not supposed to. <laughs> so with the ink already in, but it's um, like I said, it's sort of like a, a you know like just a frosted pane. So you can see where your ink levels are. You need to make sure that it doesn't get below that last quarter line because you don't want it to. Um, you just don't want to go there. I'm I'm not going to go there to test it out. So sorry. Not sorry, not doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna actually stick to the rules this time. Um, okay, so there's that. Let me see if there's anything else that I wrote down. Um, the other thing is, this is gonna be the next series, or the next video in this series, is when we actually install the software. Um, I am gonna do it online, so I'm going to get on you know their support group do the link and connect there i will not be connecting through a cord or through um the disc because i don't have a disc reader so that's if you want to change that up i want to do everything wireless and online and let's see all right so we're still only halfway through Well, I can show you something though while we're waiting because it's still just 10 minutes. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna pull this over here. So since we're doing sublimation and you know, I most of my crafting is done on my Cricut. Um, I'm a Cricut crafter. So, and I love their products for the most part. This is, I mean, as you can see, I have Cricut, Cricut supplies, everything. So I used the infusible ink sheets on this. So on this side, it's, you know, this is a like a gag gift for our tennis coach. He coaches the, um, our kids and then my friends and I, we have a mom's group. And so he, he's the same coach. So we did Hot Shots Tennis Coach. Um, I used the infusible ink. So this one goes from blue to green to yellow. So that's what, that's not discoloration. That's the sheet that I use. The problem that I have though is that I did not buy the infusible ink sheets that are specifically for the mug. Apparently there's a difference. The difference is on the ones for the mug, the transfer sheet does not have grid lines and does not have the word infusible ink sheet on it. The one that I bought was from the original launch when they did the t-shirts and just, just their original launch for infusible ink. I bought a ton, so I'm gonna use that. I'm not gonna buy new infusible ink sheets, but you gotta be careful then. My grid lines did not transfer to my mug, and I don't think you can see on here. It's so faint. I was barely able to see it, but I noticed this like yellow tint, and it says infusible ink. And then of course I took pictures before and after, and it matched up to where the, 
the transfer sheet had the words infusible ink. So infusible ink is right here. You can see that. And also a little, it's super faint, even more faint down here. So I know you can't see it on here. Where I was able to, if you go on my Instagram, you can see it there. Oh, we're at like 80% through. Um, you can see the pictures on my Instagram. It really picked up in natural sunlight. So when I went outside to take the picture, I could see the yellow. It looked like a yellow highlighter. So I'm going to, so I um, made another cup for him. I used the inverse. So the one that had like, um, so wherever you see the ink here, it's the opposite. So it was more blue. And then where you see the words, it's actually the white cup. So I made that cup and gave that cup away. I'm keeping this one. I, from my comments, because people, oh, this has happened to others, from my comments, I've been told that if I wash it and use it, it's going to eventually fade. It has not fade at all from no use. So this has just been sitting on my counter because I haven't washed it. I wanted to talk about it. Once I start washing it and using it, I will let you know if it fades. In the meantime, what has worked for me though, is I did buy this blue, um, heat resistant tape that from Cricut. So it's part of their like infusible ink line when they launched that. This was to help you um, hold down your design. So what I would recommend is because I haven't had a problem with the grid lines because this is my fifth cup, uh, fifth mug that I've done I think and I haven't had any issues. This was the first time so I think what um, my recommendation would be going forward is if you use the infusible ink sheets, then I would trim off the excess wherever it has the words infusible ink. If you can, I would trim it off. I would use this tape instead because I use this tape right now because I use the same design for two mugs because I peel off like, you know, normally you would weed out the words. Well, I leave that on. I peel out the big piece so that that big piece I can actually use on the mug and then whatever is left, I use on the mug as well. So I make two mugs. So with that, I have been using this tape and it's worked wonderful. So, oh, we're at like 98%. So I talked enough in the 10 minutes about infusible ink. Yes, it says it's complete. Okay, so it's done. I'm gonna hit the okay button. Let's see, align the printer to get the best print quality. So, okay, um, I'm gonna click adjust and let's see, perform a print head nozzle check to check print, okay. So let's print that. Okay, so I need to load paper. Sorry, I didn't think we were doing that. Let me go get the paper. can see I don't edit because I want you to see like real time what I'm doing okay so this is the paper that I'm using it's on Amazon it's on my Amazon shop so amazon.com uh, let's see amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter I have a specific section for sublimation okay so let's open this up see all my Cricut tools I'm telling you <laughs> Oh, you know what? I should check the ink levels. Um, interesting. I don't think my ink levels went down that much. So, okay. So load paper in the rear paper feeder to start printing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm like trying to figure it out. Okay. So let me pull that out so you can see it. It went like this down straight up and out okay so you want your paper to be in the front so this is the back because it actually says you know the back I believe I believe that's how it would work right let me see if this thing comes with any instructions
not putting this in correctly. How does it adjust? Set the edge guide and start printing. Okay. Oh, it took it, but I didn't set my edge guide right. <laughs> Did you see how it came in all funky? All right. Um, let's see. Check your ink level regularly. Oh, Jesus. Are there missing any segments? Um, yes, just the black. So I'm going to click um, yes. Clean printer head. Start. Okay, so it's going to take three minutes. So while that's doing, let's figure out how to set up this back tray. Okay. Does it show me how to load here? Oh, oh, I'm such a dummy. Okay. <laughs> This little thing right here, duh, that's the paper adjustment. Okay, that was it. Okay, you know where it says three load paper? If only I had read that. <laughs> okay, so we've got that down. Let's see, okay, so that's still going. So make sure as this goes straight up like this, what you wanna do is lift this straight up at an angle then we're going to stick our paper in and you know what i should have done just regular paper because we're not sublimating this all right so i'm back so if we put this in I'm going to move this out a little bit more. Oops, too much. Okay. That'll hold it for next time. All right, so this is good. I'll throw this away. See, it's not as easy, right? <laughs> No, it's pretty easy. I don't know. Um, I'm just really bad at reading every single line of the instructions. So it's got about maybe another minute. Let's see if there's anything left that we should read about. Um, so like I was saying, I'm kind of surprised I didn't need to fill in more ink. Um... Yeah, I think that's good. And then there's also, I'm gonna pull this on the side. Um, check if nozzles are not clogged. Next adjustment. Let's see, nozzle check. Oh, well, I guess, should we do? Okay. Oh, it needs to be. Um, I don't have any blank paper, if you can believe it. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can do this. Okay. And hit print. So this little tray pops out to catch it. I didn't have it out earlier. Oh, it prints so much more nicely when there's the guard rails right there. <laughs> it didn't go crazy on me. All right, so it's now perfect. All the lines look good. So I'm gonna go down and say no. Okay. Um, a line print, I don't need that. Okay, it looks like we're done. So that was pretty easy. <laughs> I will see you next time. So the next time is we're gonna install the software. 
All right, get your printer or yeah, get your printer ready. Let me know if you have any questions. I will see you next time. Thanks guys.